Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to add transitions to our pictures, video, and audio tracks in our project. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to import. I have some an audio, this music here, and then we'll also do uh, just a video, video clip, and I'll do maybe two images. So we've got these two images. Perfect. So I'll drag the video down first. And I'm just going to cut out a certain portion of this video, kind of a more silent portion with my razor tool. I'll grab the pointer tool and delete the start and the end of that. And then I'll bring in a picture of this butterfly. We'll bring in a picture. Oh, the butterfly didn't go for some reason. There we go. And I'll bring in this music track. So now we have a music track. We have this uh, couple things happening here. And they each play for like a couple seconds. So if we play this, this is what our project looks like right now. We've got music in the background and it cuts between these different pictures and video, but it's just a hard cut. So the transition of between the clips is what we're going to work on now. And even the beginning is a transition. So transitioning from the beginning of the video, the black, we can transition into like a fade in. Well, in fact, at this point in the development of Olive, this is the alpha version uh, in 2019. So the only video transition we have is a fade from black. It's a cross dissolve. So to add those in though, let me uh, scroll here so we can see this a little bit better. To add an effect, there's a couple of things we can do. Um, the best way to do it is to click on the file that we want to add. So we want to add a, I'm sorry, I said effect. I, to add a transition, we'll click on this file and we'll come over here to the effects window. And just like when we add an effect over here, the transitions are on the other side. It's this icon right here, add video transition. So we'll click that. And like I said, the only option we have now is cross dissolve. In the future, it'll be similar to this where there'll be a bunch of drop downs and we can do like the iris and the fade in and fade out and matrix and slide and wipe and all these all these things. But for now, it's just the cross dissolve. So we'll click cross dissolve <clears throat> and it comes up with some more options right here. And so the options are how long do you want it to happen? One second on the opening and one second on the closing is what's here by default. We can change these by left clicking just like we would on changing any property in effects. We'll come down here and look and see. And now that we've applied that, we see sort of this line happening on the start and the beginning of this clip. And when we play this, it's going to fade in and fade out our video. So this has only been applied to one clip, which means it's going to be a hard cut from this picture. It's gonna hard cut, but then the, the one that it cuts to is gonna fade in just like this. Um, so we can apply transitions to this as well. We can select the clip, come over and add the cross dissolve, or we can just right click and go to add default transition. And that adds the default transition, which is the cross dissolve right now. So now we have cross dissolve happening. We can do the same thing here, right click. Well, this one I'm gonna do differently. This one, if we select the, the actual video, since it has two clips, it has a, a video clip and an audio clip, we're going to, um, add them separately. So under audio effects, we can add a different fade than we can under video. Under video, we'll just add the cross dissolve, but under audio, we can add either a exponential fade, linear fade, or logarithmic fade. That just depends, that determines how the audio fades in and out. I'll just do linear, which means it'll fade uniformly from zero volume to full volume over time, over one second in this case. So, we can, like I said, we can change the, the length that it happens here, or we can even come over here to the transitions themselves and change the length of them here. Uh, so we can do the audio. Oh, and in that case, I didn't want to even do the audio. That's because uh, I was thinking that was the music. So for the music, we'll select it and we'll come up here to audio effects and go linear fade. So this is the one we can come down to and change uh, how that's happening change the length of this so we can have it be fade out much slower and fade in much slower. And uh, yeah, so now when we watch our project, it looks something like this. We fade in from black, we fade out and go to the next picture. We have music playing in the background. And when it gets to the end, which we'll just shrink this down here to the very to the end right there. When it gets to the end, the volume will slowly fade out to zero. So that's basically uh, the transitions. What else? When we, we can select just a transition and delete it by either right clicking and going to, oh, I guess we can't delete it that way. We can just select it and hit delete. 
the paste here is when you have if we have options like for more complex um, settings we can copy it and then we can paste the settings on that transition uh, yeah I think that's everything um, yeah, there's really not a, lot, not a lot to it because there's not a lot of different effects uh, or different transitions we can apply sorry I keep saying effects on there but uh, that's working with transitions in Olive at this point in time. So you're not crazy if these are the only effects you're able to see, transitions. Um, but uh, play with those transitions or that transition, I guess. Uh, and in the next video, we're going to learn how to make a picture slideshow uh, using these transitions. So we'll get a little bit of hands-on experience uh, doing that as it relates to steel images. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.